board certified neurological surgeon. Um, my undergraduate training actually was in aeronautical engineering and then I went into medicine and finished my residency and training at the Case Western Reserve University in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, I've been a practicing neurosurgeon for uh, over 30 years now. Uh, there's a couple areas that are a big concern for a practicing physician. Uh, first is that many patients are sent to us uh, based on the fact that their diagnostic studies, such as their uh, lumbar MRI scan, may show some abnormalities. Uh, in reality, most people have abnormalities on their scan. So it's a matter of trying to correlate what we see on a scan with what is actually happening with the patient. The second big area we have is trying to objectively measure what changes there are in a patient's uh, level of performance and how that correlates with their actual job requirements. The uh, beauty of the CRT technology is that we now have an objective way and a reproducible way to measure that performance loss and then be able to equate that specifically to their job requirements. Uh, that level of uh, expertise we've never had before. So first, as we're uh, in the office evaluating the patient, uh, we need to know the specifics of their job. We actually don't very often know the real details of what's required in the body mechanics of their job. So we're asked to evaluate someone whose job we know little about and then be able to say are they really ready to handle that particular job activity. Uh, that requires being able to test their joint movement, their strength, their endurance, essentially their performance, um, which a physician office is not set up to do. We don't have the tools available to us to do that. CRT, however, provides that degree of objective measurement which can actually tell joint movement by joint movement whether that patient is able to do the things required of the job. And that's a, a huge benefit uh, to a physician when he's trying to make a very difficult decision, particularly with a patient that may say, yeah, I just don't feel good, I, I don't think I can do my job. We can now say, um, yes, you can, and that you are able to safely go back and, and do your job. Mm -hmm.